The Steve Dahl Podcast. Check out a free sample and subscribe today at Dahl.com. Yeah, we're simul blasting on WLSAM 890 and the Loop 97.9, the last live show on the Loop, because tonight at midnight it switches over. The G Jesus takes the wheel. <laughs> That's right. Jesus, <laughs> take the wheel. <laughs> Currently on the phone right now, we have we have Mr. Jonathan Brandmeyer. Hey, Johnny B. What's up? Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, help us all. <laughs> the loop. I didn't even know the loop was still on the air. <laughs> yeah, well, it is until midnight. Are you kidding me? Uh, no, it's going at midnight. It's turned it into a, a Christian station. Well, I've got to go back and just get those last few hours uh, from the from the loop in. I mean, how? What? I know that's why I'm I having can't you on, it. and I got Buzzman ready to go too. If that's cool, Buzzman. Hey, by the way, um, I was just doing the Buzz kettleball workout. That is fantastic. Right? Are you doing it? What is it again? You lift your daughter up and down? I something. I'm not. Yeah, you know, you know. He says that, but in fact, yeah. he had a kettlebell before I did and was giving Thank me you. advice on it. Really? Thank you. Yes. But I, my daughters are old, so it's really getting hard mm -hmm. for me to lift them up. Yeah, you got to go to the kettlebell then. And uh, this is this a, a, by the way, this is the first time Buzz and I have talked. What Buzz talk? We do email, but talking in a oh. year? Would you say? When was the last day we were on the air? Really? Yeah, That's right. right. We talked. Really? It's unbelievable. So. Steve, look what you brought. It's like Dean and Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Sinatra right now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. It's, 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 a, it's a major coincidence because just before the phone rang, I finished installing a picture of Johnny B as yeah. my cover photo on my new Facebook page. Oh, nice. Wow. Nice. Uh, there's a tie yeah. in there, which I won't, you know, I mean, needless to say, I was going, there's some humorous aspects to it. Mm -hmm. but. All right. You know, it's really weird. You know, but by the way, uh, first of all, I can't tell you, literally, I am not joking, man. I am so excited to be talking to you guys right now. It's like, this is because, you know what, this, I think, what, what happened here with this thing being dumped or sold or whatever the hell happens these days. Yeah, sold. It, it just reminds me. Of what the hell we were doing. And I'll tell you something, Steve. Just before you broke, you were telling that story about Andy Kaufman. Uh -huh. And I literally, honestly, I go, what the hell? <laughs> Look what you were doing. Look what you were doing, man. You were in a box waiting for Andy Kaufman to take you out. I, know. I, mean, <laughs> it, it, I mean, we could sit here and we could do nonstop story after story after story because it doesn't happen anymore. No. It doesn't happen. No, it that, does not. I, I want to swear, but I'm not going to swear either. But that does not happen. And by the way, did you see the movie, uh, uh, the documentary with Jim Carrey about the making of Andy, mm -hmm. um, the Man on the Moon? Yeah. How unbelievable is that, yeah. dude? Jim's out there. Uh, he might be farther out there, or further out there than, uh, or and farther than uh, Andy than was. Buzz? <laughs> than Buzz. <laughs> nobody's nobody's f further out than Buzz. Oh, my God. Once again, one of the most unique dudes on the radio. You're talking to Buzz right there. This is the guy. And you know why Buzz was unique to me and to you, and I'm sure? Yeah. Is because you just – Buzz didn't really care about radio. He just wanted to have a good time. We were kindred spirits. We just wanted to jack around. Yeah. We didn't really care where it was going. And once you start caring where it was going, that's when it goes down the tubes. Yeah. yeah you start no. caring, you start – I'm telling you. So when you don't give a rat ass, <laughs> what anyone thinks, when you just don't care. Yeah. I remember I remember going to Redimax, and uh, remember Steve the Riff, he was like, you know, I was coming from Phoenix, and you were saying, hey, man, or you were in the paper, whatever it was, yeah. saying, you know, you're going to drive me out of town. All of a sudden, it was just like. You had a commercial thought, wow, with a pig I, in a Hawaiian shirt. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, you got to go. Oh, Mr. You D, started Mr. D. It. Yeah, I, you too, fat boy. I'm saying right now, I'm Mr. D. I'm thinking to myself, oh, my God. <laughs> That was so stupid. <laughs> I don't know, man. You know, it was uh, we it was we were given our time and we made the most of it. I think so. Yeah, that's a way to say it, right there. You didn't you didn't waste time. And I just saw some uh, some footage of these archive videos, some of this stuff with Danny. We we bring out Danny. We bring out Kevin Matthews, and Kevin Matthews brings out a monkey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah sure. Of course. 
couldn't follow it because, you know, with Kevin, his concepts were all over the place. Like, I never really knew what he was talking. Wait a minute. Am I talking to Jim Shorts? Yeah. Or who who, yeah. they, who he could, are you? He couldn't hang on to a concept for his life. I mean, he just, he could, just he would be, to His him. mind worked so fast, he would be in the middle of a concept and skip to another concept. Yeah. Yeah. I go like this. I go, uh, hey, so Kevin comes out with the monkey. I go, hey, look at this. Look, we're at the Chicago Theater, and it's the crowd is going crazy. Here's Kevin and the monkey and Danny Bonaduce. <laughs> and I go, Kevin brought Jim Shorts. And no, Kevin brought Jim Shorts' baby. He goes, it's not, it's not Jim Shorts' baby. I go, what? He goes, it's not Jim Shorts' baby. It's Jim Shorts. <laughs> Kevin from the no. Another transcendent concept. <laughs> Kevin, not, yeah, Kevin. But wait, not... but, but, but wait, let's take it to the next level. This is what I'm talking about, this group of crazy that we were in. Okay, now he says, this is Jim Shorts. And then someone yells, I don't know who it was, probably someone from the crowd, kiss my monkey. And Danny Bonaduce proceeds to lip lock on a monkey for about what seemed to be 35 straight seconds. <laughs> and I just thought to myself, God, I love this gig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's crazy. Yeah, we had a lot of fun and, uh, you know, great listeners were the, the reason think, that we had to right do there. that. I think you were talking about it on one of those news channels. I think you said we were kindred spirits. I, I, there's not a place where I go. Somebody goes, "Hey, how about those days, man? You, doll, cab, and 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 Danny Benedici, But wait, throw the other one in. Throw the kicker of crazy in. Eddie Schwartz. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You got a guy, Kevin Matthews, doing Eddie better than Eddie, right. and he's doing it while we're. At, but Steve, do you remember being at my house? You, me, Kevin. And we started dialing Eddie. We would always say, let's jack with Eddie. Yeah, when he was on, yeah, yeah. He's all, all yeah. overnight, so we'd call and, <laughs> and we, did we disguise our voices? Or did we, were we ourselves? I can't remember. Well, first of all, you know, and between you and me and Buzz, I know. <laughs> You're the oh, yeah? <laughs> what about me? <laughs> you only have the one voice, that, yeah. That's a standard character. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's right on. Whatever it is, it's right on. <laughs> I think it was a dog, but I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah? I, I remember we used to make, I mean, Gary and I used to make fun of Eddie all the time on WGN. And then yeah. Kev and Kevin, uh, as Kevin will do, he'll come in, take your concept, and then execute it better. <laughs> so you can't even claim it anymore. People go, yeah, right, sure, you did it before he did. Listen to how good he does it. But um, you know what it was? You just described the perfect. It was tag team. It yeah. was like the. Cra it was like, hey, those guys did that this morning. It was like what people would say to me is, it was a seamless broadcast. Yeah. You turn that station on, you knew you were going to have a good time. Something weird was going to happen. And it would just start in the morning, just keep on going. Well, just all the way through. And when you talk about calling Eddie overnight, yeah, yeah. we did do voices. And then uh, um, before, he would say, I, I think that's those guys. I think it's guys from the station. And then I think it's the guys toilet. from the station. <laughs> so, wait, wait so the first day he was guys from the station. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, wait a minute. Buzz, was that Buzz doing it? No. I don't know who that was. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. You've got two voices, John. Exactly. You did two imp impressions. Wow. So, so, That's all right, so, awesome. so I'm making, they, we, they hire Eddie Schwartz to do overnights. Larry Work does, right? And then I'm making uh, fun yeah. of Eddie. Gary and I are making fun of him in the afternoon. And Larry calls me and goes, what are you doing? I said, make a fun of Eddie Schwartz. <laughs> make a fun of Eddie Schwartz. And he goes, you can't do that anymore. I said, no, no, you don't get it. You, you should not. You can't hide. No, that's what we do. There's yeah. two shows wow. that do that. Yeah. We're going to keep doing wow. it. Why did you go that's hire him? You should have left him where he was. I mean, with all due respect <laughs> to Eddie, it was funnier. The first thing he did was break the toilet. Yeah. They had to rebuild the toilet for him. They had to put a floor mount in. Yeah. They had a wall mounted one and it didn't, it just, it wasn't uh, rated for 600 yeah. pounds. And we're supposed, you're uh, supposed to go on the air and keep yeah. that a secret. Yeah. Right. Don't tell anybody. Uh, oh, okay. And I thought, you know, he would talc use talcum powder and, uh, you know, because, uh, you know, if you, get, if you have a couple of Dunlops, you know, they can, you can, get a little, it can get a little cheesy in there. And I thought that was cocaine. I was down there on the floor for like, How do I get all this cocaine into an envelope or something? But it turned out it was talcum oh. powder. Talcum powder. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Yeah, and I actually, I spent time searching for the memo. 
that Les Elias issued when I first got there, like 81 or 2 or something, uh-huh. uh, warning who who was ever peeing in the plants uh-huh. in the lobby had better stop. Scott. Scott. <laughs> the funny thing to me was they couldn't pinpoint anybody. There were too many likely <laughs> suspects. <laughs> hey, Steve, Steve, was, yes, it, was it Sky? It was Sky, yeah. <laughs> He could, never make it, of love. he could not make it all the way to the bathroom. I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure I follow you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I can't believe that was Scott. But you know, you know, you think about that. Okay, let, let's go back to the beginning because I think what's happened here. Whoever allowed you to do this, whoever idea this is for you to end this, you know, ship, mm-hmm. you know, let it sink forever. Uh-huh. I'll tell you. That this is a great idea because I can now go back to 1978. I'm dating my still wife, Lisa. We're dating, Mm -hmm. and we went to Chicago Fest. I think it was, Steve, was it called Chicago Fest? Uh, The Blues Festival, 19. It was on the first year. Uh, Chicago Fest first, yeah. Yeah. Then it became the taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, And we were walking through that fest, and I just kept hearing, Go, oh! (laughs) <laughs> go, oh, go oh. and I thought what, I go to Lisa what, 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 what is that all about she goes, oh there's that guy on the radio Steve Dahl is on the radio and those are like his fans I said you, you gotta be kidding me I was in 78 so I was in hmm, I'm gonna say Rockford or, or Milwaukee but you know back in the day you didn't get to hear shows but right. I heard just enough to know this guy's he's eating breakfast on the air. <laughs> he's eating. That guy's got to well, eat. He's talking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I just couldn't, and I just thought I'd never seen anything like that. It was like, go, go. And it was like, wow, that's yeah. pretty amazing. So I thought, man, you maybe you can do something with this medium. Maybe there is something here that's just, that you just tapped into that I think kind of, uh, Brought that town together. I thought it was pretty interesting. Oh, well, thanks, really man. Interesting. You know, you did a, a good job yourself, and I, I think that might have been uh, Loop Fest back in the day. We uh, they had oh, a couple, of, couple of Loop Fests on the pier. There was a lot of those black pier. T-shirts yeah. for twenty dollars. Yeah, mm. I, that was the. I, uh, yeah, yeah, right. Absolutely. <laughs> do you guys want to wow. hang on and talk some more, or do you want to go? What do you want to do? Yeah, I want. I want to just say one thing. I want to mm. say one thing about some other people. Should I hang on? Yeah, go ahead. Go yeah, do, do what you, you have to do. We just got to stop. Uh, you know, I still have to do what I'm told. Oh wow! Yeah, it's to a certain You're extent. Steve yeah, Tell me, did you ever say? Did you ever say I'm Steve freaking Doll? Uh, about ten times this week. And, yeah, that's what people, I used to say. And they just I'm shrug. Steve they would just shrug. Yeah, right. <laughs> they just shrug their shoulders at me. All right, hang on. Okay. More Johnny okay, B I- and Buzz Kilman in just a second. You're listening to the last live show on the loop ever. It was fun while it lasted. This is the Steve Dahl Show. Heard weekday afternoons on WLS AM 890. Sponsored by David Hochberg of Pearl Mortgage. Visit PERLDavid.com. It's been a long time with the rock and roll, but it's over tonight at midnight. Steve Dahl Show. Simulcasting on WLS AM 890 and the Loop 97.9, the last live show on the Loop. Jonathan Brammeyer, Buzz Kilman on the line. Hey, gentlemen. Yeah. 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 Hey, Buzz, were you working out, really, during the commercial break, were you lifting kettlebells? No, I was not. No, I was not. You're a liar. Were you, doing- were you shaving your pubes? <laughs> uh, you know, what I was doing is none of anybody's business. <laughs> I got to tell you, it's what pubes. a weird dude. So, Mr. Dahl, yes. uh, here's what I wanted to say, because it seems when I was, you know, first th- when this news came, uh, Vincenzo, you know, Vinny, he uh, sends a text. He says, hey, you know, this is what we're waking up to today. And I go, what is this, a loop? What? Sold to a religious station? What mm. the hell? Yep. And the fact is, they didn't even know about it until, you know what, the day before and everybody got blown out, right? Actually, That's the it? day That's... of, Tuesday, last Holy Tuesday. Crap. Yeah, what I think there were 27 thing. people uh, lost their uh, their Jeez. careers that day or, you know, lost their jobs. They didn't have to worry about it. They didn't have time. <laughs> <laughs> See? Always with the silver lining playbook, Buzz Kilman. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> Always. That's, that's beautiful. That's At least they didn't have to We had to worry about it. You yeah. know, we got fired. We had a way around. Yeah. Yeah, they <laughs> just it. they woke up and, oh, all right. Yes, they were gone, but I didn't re- – re- I thought, oh, God, that's pretty weird. It's a story, radio, sold, bankrupt, everybody's bankrupt, everybody's sold, I get it. Um, uh, but then I started thinking about it. I, started, I saw you on the show, and those news channels were calling me, and I'm like, I, I don't want to talk about the loop. What am I, 
What am I going to say about it? I don't know. But if you want to talk about it, that, you were there. You're in it. You kicked it off. So I want to talk about it. But here's what I was thinking about, and I got nostalgic, and it kind of made me think that we have to remember one thing. You got guys like Matt Bisbee. Mm-hmm. Matt Bisbee is a freaking genius. He did all the, the guy production. Would take anything and make it funny. Yeah, yeah. All the promos were Matt Bisbee. He yeah, does the Matt voiceover Bisbee. for then, the answering machine and my veterinarians, and that's funny. <laughs> 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 oh my god but he was like unsung he would just take something he would drive into work here's something bus said and i said and then he would just turn that into a promo and next thing you know now go to the promotions department and go to pam colts cindy gatziolis and the late sandy stall mm-hmm. you would say something like and, and not something like i would say hey you know they're opening a new hard rock cafe in tokyo we should go there okay let's make it happen i go what yeah, next yeah, thing you know, you're there. To Tokyo. Yeah, you're there. I mean, it was like, join, join the loop and see the world. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I did. Exactly right. Yeah, I'm in Germany at uh, Oktoberfest. I'm in some foreign country for some Brazilian. Uh, you know, it was amazing. Yeah. Uh, it was unbelievable. And those people that I just mentioned, they made that stuff happen. I mean, they just made it happen. And you, it was like, nowadays in radio, if you were to tell somebody you have an idea, even the word idea makes them, you can see the yeah. eyes shut. They, they shudder. They begin to shudder. <laughs> what, 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 yeah, an idea? What, 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 what do you mean an idea? Just go, you know, go in there security. and just talk. Somebody no, call no. security. Why do we it this way? You do it. We could do it. We could do it again. If radio, if anyone had balls, you could do it again. It's just, how, how weird was it that we all conversed at the same place, same time? It wasn't that big of a deal. It wasn't, it wasn't. A bunch of guys yeah. having a good time and be, and being allowed, I think you brought that up, to have a good time. Yeah. To yeah. have a good time. And, and and to be taken over by Buzz. I know this is, I'm, you probably don't want me to get into this, right, Buzz? Or, well, I prefer you not to, but go ahead. You know, you're on the yeah, air. Because right? yeah. Buzz would always say to me, and he would do this you know, snidely off the air. <laughs> For no reason off the air, he'd say, Never trust a Christian. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm a Catholic all my life. What are you talking about? Uh, uh, enough said. I rest my case. Hey, I, so I guess you go to the bathroom or whatever, look at his shoes. I don't know what he does. I, there's somebody that wants to say hi to you guys. Who? Well, you're about to find out. <laughs> wow. I like the surprise. I'm in the box. Hello? <laughs> Chet? Oh, Chet? 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 Jove? Pause. You it's, want me to do the routine first, and then talk? Because I wrote out my ad libs here. Okay, uh, it's chit chit chit, guys. <laughs> oh. Chit 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 chit. Lot of the lot of the world. So is it chit? Really? Yeah, I can barely hear. I can barely hear him. Yeah, it's it's Bruce. Oh wow! Once again, another unsung hero right there, yeah. Bruce Wolf. Chet, yep. chet, chet. Annoying as all hell, but yet what talent is Bruce? I know. <laughs> I wrote out a bit. All I right, do, a bit. do your bit. All right, here we go. Start it up again. All right. uh, bah, 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 bah. And just at the outset, the outset of preface, is it where I want to say, hooray, the Cubs won the World Series. Well, I haven't been on the air in a while. I want to be a part of the celebration. But the loop, good old number 97 and 9 tenths is done. Finito, shuffling off this mortal coil. Swallow. <laughs> it makes me sad. <laughs> but while it was here, it was that which nothing greater in the mind can be conceived of part by Enfield's ontological proof for the existence of God. We're talking now. We're talking fire. We're talking Matthew Tech. We're not talking. We're thinking of the three men I admire most, Salt, the Castro, and the Holy Ghost. Wait, you don't parody a song by using the same words as the song, Holy Ghost. Get your head out of gas after six minutes. Who does a full parody of American Pie? Maybe I forget Larry Bird. Buzz. Look, the loop is going Christian. To paraphrase Jonathan B, as he was affectionately known by no one, we ain't leaving till we're believing. I sincerely yours respectfully submitted love chat. I'm going to take those Christian records and blow them up at Sox Park, and you know why? Because they're not in left. And I'm a purist. Race is the low winner. Goodbye, WLUP. Goodbye, old girl. Oh, wait, Kaminsky was the old girl. Yes, when Carl Jastrzemski came to town. He came to town. Now, that's a swirl. That was the bottom of lot of the loop up, Chet, Chet, Chet. Hi, guys. How are you? Oh, are you? my Bar- God. Mm. The- yeah, that Lord. was. I hope we, you got that clear because that was crazy, man. Yeah, I think we got it pretty clear. 
Mm. We're yeah. not leaving till we're believing. We're not leaving till we're believing. Come on, Buzz. Come on. Solo. We're, that's great. Oh, I'm sorry, Buzz. Put your hand in the hand of the man who fills the water. Put your hand in the hand of the man. You can stay now if you want, Steve. Put your hand. Look at yourself and you can look at another easily. Put your hand in the hand oh, yeah. oh, from the man Steve. from Gallows. You know, I had a with Jonathan Brandmeier. He's fired me at WCKG to bring Buzz back. Okay. All right. We then don't I need. We don't. With him in 2005. No, no. It was fine. It was great. I loved it. Johnny made my career. There's no question about it. It's Johnny yeah. and Jimmy and you know, it all. You and what all that. Me? But, but yeah. I, you created Chet Chet Chet. You inspired Chet. I listened to Chuck Swirsky <laughs> on, on, on the loop, and I said, oh, come on. I can do that. <laughs> so that was- you, were, you were a lawyer at the time, right? <laughs> I was a lawyer. Uh, Jimmy and Buzz come to my law office, which was about the size of a, a refrigerator box. Jimmy and Castro? They came and... Yeah, the Castro, and they and they brought me over to the loop for. Uh, I was offered the same amount of money as WXRT, but then they threw in a cruise with Kathy Steinhauer, who was on it as well. So I mean, it was just <laughs> that's what brought me over to the loop. All right. So and the rest is history. So thanks for having me on today. I yeah. It. Um, hey, that was very very funny. Record that Thank and send you. me a copy of it, will you? I want that. I will do that. Yeah. I will do that. All right, Mr. Brammeyer. Mr. Brammeyer. I think he's gone. You hung up. You made him hang up. <laughs> you made Johnny B hang up, Bruce. Yeah. Look, this oh is why God. you get fired. Finally, I got to be quiet. This is why you get fired. <laughs> well, I, I can't. I make, I make nothing but enemies. That's all I do. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to say thanks to Bruce Wolf. Thanks to Buzz Kilman. Thanks to Johnny B. And Johnny B, you need to get back on the radio, bro. Yep. Or at least be doing a podcast or something. Thanks, guys. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> hey, don't blame I'm me, the Buzz. Only one here. Don't blame. Don't. don't. <laughs> I was hoping for Chet Coffin. <laughs> don't, don't, hey, don't blame me. Bruce is the one that made Johnny hang up. Okay. <laughs> I'll bye. talk to you later. Bye, guys. Thanks. This is the Steve Dahl Show, the last live show on the loop ever. All right, everybody, stay right where you are. Heard weekday afternoons on WLS AM 890. The Steve Dahl Show. The simulcast is sponsored by David Hochberg of Pearl Mortgage. The leaders of tomorrow listen to the Steve Dahl Podcast today. Check out a free sample and subscribe today. You leader you. At Dahl.com. All right, it's uh, Steve Dahl, it's Steve Dahl Show, uh, Doc Juin uh, with us. Doc, um, uh, Doc, Steve, Doc, and Brendan Greeley, we do a show every afternoon on WLSAM 890. We're on there right now, on here right now. But we're also on the Loop 97.9 today because it's going to, this is the day that they switch over. At midnight, they're going to switch over. They changed it. It was going to be Saturday night, but now it's been moved up. Yeah, for <laughs> legal reasons. I'm sure it's something I said. Oh, we one, should, that, you know what? Get one last kudos, crazy stunt Kudos to me. Yeah, exactly. So, so far we've had a really great show this afternoon, I think. Uh, it's oh, been it's, fun for me anyway, just talking. I don't, I don't mean like I did a great show. I mean like it's been fun talking to all, all of the uh, different uh, loop folks we've been talking to. Kevin Matthews, Joe Walsh, he used to fill in for uh, Gary and myself all the time. Sky Boy, Sky Daniels, yep. Mitch Michaels, Stan Lawrence, Johnny B, Buzz Kilman, and Bruce Wolf there. It's fantastic. As a chat, chit chat. And uh, coming up here in a couple of minutes, uh, we're going to talk to Danny Bonaducci. Well, well, well. Yeah, see what he's up to. Uh, let me just remind you of a couple of things. First off, David Hochberg is making this all possible today. The Hawk. David Hochberg at Pearl Mortgage. David Hochberg at Team Hochberg. 312 751 1333 is a phone number there. PearlDavid.com is the website. Yep. P E R L David.com. If you need a mortgage, if you need a refi, mm-hmm. a HELOC, you know, home equity, a line of credit, VA loan, debt consolidation, whatever you need. If it's, if you need to deal with a bank, you need to call a hawk. Send the hawk in. Because he don't mess around. Mm-hmm. And uh, you can he's got a show every Saturday from 10 to noon on WLS AM 890. The loop, uh, all the you know, although it won't be a broadcast over the airwaves anymore beginning at midnight, you will be able to listen to it on uh, if, 
if you have an HD radio on 101.1 HD2. And if you don't have an HD radio, uh, you won't understand what that means. But if you do, you will. Also, we're on W. We're on 94.7 HD2. The WLS AM feed is. Um, also, they will be streaming at WLUP.com. And if you would like to get, there's a, they're doing like a limited run of the classic black loop shirt. Yeah. Black shirt with the white logo. Right. Limited run. This is how you get one. 20 bucks. Special looper price. Going out of business. Yep. Special going out of business price. Everything must go. 20 bucks. While they last, you need to text the word shirt. S-H-I-R-T. I wonder how many times people have left that. All right. yeah, as a statement, yeah. as a statement, man. <laughs> well, I don't know about a poop emoji. But <laughs> right. We're older; we don't think in emojis. <laughs> exactly. Like, uh, but you know, just to make a statement about mm -hmm. what's happening to their station. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Text the word "shirt" to three one two nine seven nine to order three one two, the area code ninety seven nine nine seven nine. Yep. Twenty bucks. Score yourself a shirt. No shirt, Sherlock. I uh, I don't think I have a loop shirt. Got to get one, man. I don't think I ever had one. No. No, I don't, I mean, you know, we were the loop, so why would I, I wouldn't, you know, be weird wearing the shirt. Yeah. Plus, I could get you one for 30 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I need a double X if they okay. have any. If they could put one aside for me, I'd appreciate it. That would be, uh, that would be lovely. All right. Uh, so we, we need to uh, get caught up here. Uh, with our breaks, and uh, then after we uh, we we do that, uh, when we come back on the other side here, we will uh, speak with uh, Mr. Bonaducci and uh, see what uh, what's going on with him. That's okay. always interesting. Yeah, we're oh. yeah yeah yeah. No, I, I like him. I like him. And uh, once again, uh, Johnny B, if you're listening, you need to get back into radio, bro. Yes, you can take it. Yeah. Yeah, you just, you know, you just have to, you know, you just got to, pack it. you got to, I'm concealed carry. That's how I get stuff done here. <laughs> concealed carry. You know? Yeah. yeah. They know it. It's very effective. They know it. They respond to it. Think about it. This is a simulcast of the Steve Dahl Show on WLS AM 890. The last live show on the loop. All right, son, the party's over. After this, it's over. All over your face. Sponsored by David Hochberg of Pearl Mortgage. Visit PERLDavid.com. More cowbell. Steve Dahl Show is being simulcasted right now on the Loop 97.9 along with our regular show on WLS AM 890. If you just tune in into the Loop, number one, yes, I'm still alive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number two. Uh, we're doing a good show. I think you might want to check it out if you haven't uh, on WLS AM 890 every day. We don't do politics and all that. We just do try to be funny. Fun. We try to be funny. Entertaining fellas. Yeah. I try to be funny. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what they're trying. I mean, I, sometimes I fail. But uh, also, the, the loop is going off the air at midnight tonight. So yeah, if you want to listen to that uh, bizarre transition... I don't know what they're going to play last. I recommended Highway to Hell. Yeah. There's so many options. But Jesus Takes the Wheel, that's a song too, uh, at uh, at midnight tonight. And a lot of people have been calling. I, we've been talking with a lot of former uh, Loop uh, Air staff. And so I haven't had a chance to put uh, any listeners on, really not too many of them anyway. Or uh, and we, but, but we've been looking at all the uh, tweets and uh, the texts and stuff and... Uh, uh, you know, there's no loop without uh, without the the listeners. Yeah, so they don't let you do all that stuff if nobody's listening. Exactly. Right. They they, they go. Hmm, let's do something else. <laughs> yeah, there's been some great tweets like uh, from Larry Martinek at LD Mart. It's like a giant family reunion, 40 years in the making. Thanks for the memories. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I hope it sounds good. I, I'm uh, I'm honored to be in the position of of uh, you know presiding over the wake. Yep. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Danny Bonaducci's on the line. Hey, Danny Bonaducci. Hey, Steve Dahl. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, man. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I, I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm in Seattle, Washington, and I hear you say slow and dramatically, you know, there's no loop without, and I full on expected to hear Danny Bonaducci. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you went another way completely. Yeah, what did I do? Oh, listeners. <laughs> listeners. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, well, they are kind of important in the scheme yeah, of things. Yeah, yeah. yeah, as it turns out. So, are you, you're on? You are you? You're still on the radio, right? Yeah, mornings uh, in Seattle. Been here about six or seven years now. Yeah, and uh, you it must be. You must have straightened yourself out because I don't read any arrest reports about you anywhere in the papers or anything. So that's good. No, I've I've been good for this is this is a real long run for me. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I I can't say I've been in any real trouble since '92. Oh. But I was in minor trouble in all through the '90s and a little bit in the 2000s. Yeah, yeah, but that's okay. That, that's yeah. that's uh, you know it's good for your image, it gives you your edge and whatnot. Uh, sobered up around seven years ago. Really, right on, man. Congrats. Me too. I well, I like uh, twenty three years ago for me, but yeah. Oh, believe me, I absolutely know the difference between us. I think, I think you like it more than I do. I don't care for it. Getting uh, stoned, getting no, high, being sober, being oh. sober. I oh. I want to drink so goddamn bad really? all the time. That's bad. I don't think that's good, man. I think you need to. You might want to get a sponsor or something. Because <laughs> I don't. You I know never what? think about uh, it. I've got. I've got one lovely, beautiful wife uh, uh-huh. who looks after me. Right. I've got ex-wives that want just tons of money. Right. So basically that helps keep me, whether I like being sober and or not, my responsibilities scream sobriety. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's like having a sponsor. Four, how many, how many wives, ex-wives do you have? Ex-wives, two. Current wives, one. All right. That's like three sponsors then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. One active and two on the bench. <laughs> exactly, man. And, and probably your lawyer too. So, so can you can you believe the loop will be playing its last whatever the hell it plays? I was listening to you. Uh, I've listened to you a couple times. You are still just completely entertaining there, doll. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, you're welcome. And I'm listening, and you said they're going to have this really weird, awkward transition at midnight. What the hell are they going to do? I don't know what they're what they're going to do on the on the on the classic rock side. Right. Um, well, I actually don't know what they're going to do on either side, but, oh. uh, um, you know, earlier in the week I mentioned that maybe Highway to Hell would be a good thing to play. Genius. Uh, so I think uh, I, last time I checked, that's what they were going to do, but I don't really know. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, it, it, it'll be, uh, it'll, it's going to be, um, it's, it's a sad, uh, sad moment for Chicago radio, I think. Yeah, my, my good friend and uh, uh, producer when I was working at the, at the Loop uh, has been in contact with me, and he sent me a picture that had completely escaped me of essentially my first crew, if you will, my, my first producer and sidekick and weather person. And I'm thinking, first of all, I have not improved in 30 years. Uh, but that was just a good show, and it's a good town, and it was a good station, and I, for one, sir, will be sad to see it go. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Me too. And uh, especially sad uh, for – we are we have four stations. We had four stations housed in this same studio complex, and the loop is one of the four. And so, you know, my, Tuesday, like, a bunch of people got whacked, man. Yeah. It was just like I came in at like noon and people were walking out with boxes, and uh, so yeah. I feel I feel bad for them. I, I feel bad for uh, you know for radio listeners because uh, it's yeah. just one less choice unless you want to listen to K K Love again. I think it should mm. be J Love. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the J, the you know love uh, well, the J. Man. I've been through it myself very recently. Uh, three months ago, maybe less, maybe two months ago, I'm sitting there working for CBS Radio, uh-huh. and then I read in the paper that I now work for iHeartRadio, and we moved over to these new and lovely studios, just beautiful studios, but all, every, 60 people lost their jobs yeah. or something like that, or went to other stations. Uh, it, it's just radio is getting to be more and more of a rough business. Yeah, it's on a fixed income. Right. Radio, radio's exactly on a fixed true. income, so it's like, it's like radio's like a senior citizen now eating cat food, mm. just trying to stay alive. Yeah, well, you know, I'm 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 a couple of years away from being officially old. I'm 58 years old now. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm walking towards the cat food myself. Yeah, me too. I'm 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 uh, that's one of the reasons I'm here is I don't have a taste for cat food. Well, I'm, I'm, keep I'm, working, man. <laughs> I will, man, and uh, stay healthy and stay sober, bro. Because uh, you know, I love you, man, and uh, I miss you, and uh, I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. Well, thanks, and I don't know if your listeners remember. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Johnny B was wonderful and uh, Kevin was wonderful to me, but 
I remember everybody telling me about, oh, Steve Dahl, Steve Dahl. And I walked into the studio scared to death to do my first interview with you. And, yeah, funny and interesting and all that, but you couldn't have been kinder to me, and I really appreciated it then and now. Oh, thanks, man. Well, that's, uh, I'm, I'm glad to hear that uh, I'm glad to hear that, that that's a nice way to, to end it. So, all right, buddy. That's great. I'll talk to you soon. All right, man. Take care. Bye. Danny Bonaducci. This is the Steve Dahl Show. The last live show on the loop ever. All right, everybody. Stay right where you are. Heard weekday afternoons on WLS AM 890. The Steve Dahl Show. The simulcast is sponsored by David Hochberg of Pearl Mortgage.